Y'all know Maxie, my white miniature schnauzer. But is Maxie really a white miniature schnauzer? Well, we're gonna find out today. We're gonna do a DNA test on Maxie. Hey y'all, welcome to my curls. Welcome to my channel. My name is Renee. I'm so glad you're here. And you know my two dogs, Maxie and Pollux. You all have always asked, is Maxie really a white miniature schnauzer? And I'm gonna be honest, I have always thought there was just a little something something extra in Maxie, and we're gonna find out today. We're gonna do a DNA test on Maxie. And I'm gonna debut our new Pollux and Maxie fan club gear. It is here, it is adorable. I am in love with the fall fan club gear. Ooh, that's a tongue, that's a tongue switcher, that's hard to say. But I am in love with all of the new fan club merchandise. I love it, I love the colors that we chose. I'm so happy that we did the baseball tees. Y'all, I love a baseball tee. So later in the video, I'm gonna show you all of the merchandise and explain how you can get your own Pollux and Maxi fan club gear. See? <laughs> and I'm gonna explain how you can get your own Pollux and Maxi fan club gear. But let's get to Maxi. You all know Maxi is a super chill, lazy dude who just kind of hangs out in all of the videos. But I want to tell you the story of Maxi and how he came to live with us. Maxi actually had a family before us. It was a man and a woman that had a child and another dog. They found out they were pregnant with their second child and made the decision that they were not able to care for two children and two dogs. And so they surrendered both of their dogs to their local animal shelter system. And in the community that this family lived in, there was no actual animal shelter. They had foster homes all over town. When the foster family went to pick Maxie up from his home, he was tied to a tree in the front yard. And that broke my heart. And I honestly believe that is where Maxie pretty much lived his whole life, was tied to a tree in the front yard. So when we heard about Maxie, uh, we actually drove to Indiana to see him. We knew nothing about Maxie other than he was 10 months old, he was a white miniature schnauzer, and he had another pet in the home with him. Well, when we got to this home in Indiana to actually see Maxie, he was an absolute mess. I'm talking a mess. Maxie had never been groomed. Maxie had never had a bath. For this video, I went back in my old picture archives and dug up some pictures of the day that we adopted Maxie. But he was an absolute mess. Absolute, overgrown, matted, brown mess. And let me tell you a little something about the other dog that was in Maxie's life in his first home. It was a little white dog. Poodle. My suspicion, and nobody will confirm this, is that that little white poodle was Maxie's mother. That is what I think. He shares a lot of characteristics with the poodle. In the back of my mind, that is always what I've thought. But anyway, we get home. Maxie joins our house. At that point, we had two other miniature schnauzers. We had Benson and Benny, who had lived here with us for several years, and Maxie was the newcomer. Maxie was the pup. Maxie was full of energy, and all Maxie wanted to do was play with Benny and Benson, and they loved it. They all had a ball. They just they just played their hearts out for so many years until Benny and Benson actually passed away in 2018. Within a couple of months of each other, they, they both passed away from old age. And that left just the, just the Maxer. It, it was sad. It was sad for a long time. Maxie would roam the house looking for Benny and Benson. He just didn't understand where they went. So Maxie was an only dog for a year and a half. But Maxie quickly learned that he got mama and daddy all to himself. He got our lap all to himself. Belly rubs and snuggles. And that's what we love about the Maxer. He is a cuddler. And then there was Pollux. We brought home Pollux. He's been with us nine months now. He's in the floor chewing his bone. He looked at me when I said his name. And I didn't know how Pollux and Maxie were going to take to each other. At this point, Maxie was used to being an only dog. But Maxie has turned in to the best big brother. 
He has taught Pollux how to be a dog. He has taught Pollux everything he knows because Pollux did not know how to be a dog. They are so sweet together. They play together. They snuggle together. Pollux is so good for Maxie. He keeps him young. They play every day. Look at their little paws crossed. <laughs> Pollux, what are you doing? Pollux follows Maxie everywhere he goes. He wants to know, where are you going? What are you up to? What are you barking at? Do I need to do that too? It is so sweet. What the heck was that, y'all? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> but Maxie is the perfect big brother. Maxie has a bunch of nicknames. Maxi Moo, the Maxer, Mooey, the Mayor, Maxi Max, and I don't even know where all of these came from, but the, he just has a bunch of nicknames. So, in the back of my mind, I've always thought Maxi had a little bit of poodle in him. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's just what I think. But you all have commented on all of my videos, and you think Maxi is a Westie, a Highland Terrier, a poodle, a Schnauzer, I don't know, but we're going to find out today. We're going to do a DNA test on Maxie. I chose the Wisdom Panel DNA test. This is the Essential Test because this is the same company that we did the DNA test on Pollux. I loved all the information that they shared with us, all the in-depth facts about all of the breeds, the percentage of each breed, any medical conditions, the history of the breeds, and you all saw what I had to go through to get a DNA test out of Pollux. If you didn't, I will link it right up here. It is a hilarious video. I don't think Maxie's gonna be that difficult. I mean, literally, he's asleep right now beside me. I don't know, but we're, we're gonna give it a go and see how this turns out. I interrupt this video to bring you the new Pollux and Maxie fan club merchandise. Pollux is dying to get in this video, so I'm gonna let him help me show you the new fan club gear. Y'all, I am loving the new gear. This is the new baseball tee. The baseball tee comes in two colors. I love, this is my favorite. Y'all, I'm loving it. This is a black marble baseball tee with black sleeves. We did a little work on the logo, a little redesign to make it more, am I boring you? But the baseball tee comes in two colors. You've got this black marble with black sleeves. Also comes in, cover up Pollux, a gray body with maroon sleeves. So you've got two baseball tee choices. And the baseball tees are available in small to 2X. And I do wanna tell you, the baseball tees run a little on the small side. I'm actually wearing a medium. If you're getting a baseball tee, just make sure to size up so that you get the appropriate fit. Okay, the hoodies! These are the hoodie colors, and I'm gonna go put one on for you. But this is Azalea, Cardinal Red, Violet, and, and Dark Heather. I love these hoodies. They are so soft. Randy wears a hoodie year round. I'm not even kidding, and so does Brecken. Those two love their hoodies all the time. It is 96 degrees outside right now, and Randy had on a hoodie last night, so I don't know, go figure. We've got four colors to choose from. All of the colors are available from a small to a 3X. And the cardinal red and the gray are available up to a 4X. So all of you that asked me for a 4X, here are your two choices, the red and the gray. This is my favorite hoodie. I am in love with this pink. It's called Azalea and this is Violet. These are my two favorites. In the wintertime, you know, the grays and the reds are for the guys. I just love to feel happy and this pink makes me so happy. Love it. We did a little bit of a redesign on the logo. I think it looks, it needed to be just a little bit more substantial to be on a hoodie, and I'm really loving what we did to the logo. But this is your classic hoodie. Are you gonna take a nap? 
This is your classic hoodie. It's got the pockets. It's got the matching drawstrings. It's super soft inside. These wash well. They never fade. They never shrink. They just, they're just the perfect hoodie. And I wear a small in the hoodie. So remember I said I wear a medium in the baseball tee. I wear a small in the hoodie. So if you can go to the website now, welcometomycurls.com. I will put a link in the description box below. And the hoodies and baseball tees are available for you to order now. Order now! Because they are only going to be available through September the 20th. We're doing a pre-order. So what that means is you go on the website, you place your order. On September 20th at midnight, the ordering window will close. And then we will print only and exactly what was ordered. We will not have extras. We will not have overprints. You have until September the 20th to place your order. And the plan is to have all of the orders in hand and start the shipping process to you the first week of October. Let me tell you a secret. If you are part of the fan club already, you should have received an email from me and Pollux and Maxie. <laughs> They didn't do it. I did it. But you should have received an email from us giving you a secret discount code on any of our fan club merchandise. So it pays to be a member of the fan club, y'all. What's your favorite color? Huh? Do you like the red? I like the pink. I love the azalea. Absolutely love this azalea color. Then there's this one who was so jealous because he could not be in the video. Right, buddy? Are you jealous? You're jealous. It's okay. It's okay, boo. So remember, you have until September the 20th to get on the website, welcometomycurls.com, and place your order for the Pollux and Maxi Fan Club gear. September 20. That's it, guys. September 20. guys back to the video okay movie are you ready look what I've got two DNA they're just little sticks with kind of little brushes on the end and you put it in the dog's cheek and you roll it around for 15 seconds sample number one Come done no problem Let's do the other one, Moo. Oh, he's going to lay down for this one. Wait a minute. See? Doesn't care at all. Look at that. He's just going to lay here. Is it in there even? Okay. Sample number two. Y'all saw in my other video what a big stinking deal that was to get that DNA test out of Pollux. Look. Mike's are just rolled over. Totally didn't care. He is a super chill dude. He has the sweetest little personality. He normally doesn't care about anything. He's super laid back unless he sees something outside. What is it, Mooey? <sighs> he barks at everything. We call it chirping. He loves to just sit up here and just chirp and chirp and chirp and chirp at every little thing he sees. Every bird, every squirrel, every car, every neighbor, any dog that goes by, the trash man, the mail lady, any delivery truck, it doesn't matter if a leaf falls. He is going to say something about it. He just sits here and chirps. <laughs> well, that was easy, buddy. Thank you for that. I told you, super laid back. How was that, Mooey? That was just nothing, huh? You just laid still and let mom do your DNA test? He's such a sweet, sweet boy. And this one just looked on and laughed. So now that Maxie's DNA test is done, we're gonna send it off to Wisdom Panel. Last time it took them right at two weeks, basically, to get the results back to us for Pollux. So the Maxer and I will see you in another video and we're gonna find out, is Maxie really a white miniature schnauzer? Is he a Westie? Is he a Terrier? Is he a Poodle? I don't know, Moo, what do you think? Pollux, what do you think? Yeah, we didn't know you was a husky, Pollux. We had no idea. Pollux is a husky. We didn't know until we did the test, right? <laughs> so we didn't know, but now we know Pollux is a husky and a beagle, right? Daddy got it right. Pollux is a beagle. 
I know you want me to play with you, but this is Maxie's video. Are you over it, Mooey? You don't even care at this point. He just wants a Judy, y'all. We don't know, but we're going to find out. So, we'll see you in another video.